Okay. Good evening, everyone. Um, my name is Leah Gilmore, and I am the first service music director at Govins Presbyterian Church. Welcome to Music Mondays. Oh, you hear the crowd screaming. We're so happy that you're here. Music Mondays is a, a every Monday music event. Every Monday. We're just thrilled tonight to introduce you to... Somebody needs to mute their... Okay, I did it. We're thrilled to introduce you to the Caswell family. Now, when I first met Rob, Rob was a kid. And now he's a dad and a husband and a musician doing amazing things with his extremely talented family. So the Caswell family is a mother, father, and daughter trio, Ro, Rob, and Hannah. Hannah's the nine-year-old, whose lives together are infused with the love of music. Their repertoire is varied, but draws mostly on bluegrass, folk, blues, old time, and other roots genres. Hannah, violin and vocals, who has studied violin since age four. Okay, how many of you guys out there can say that? Sings with a voice that has been described as angelic. I've heard it, and yes. And never fails to bring joy to her audiences. Rob, vocals, banjo, mandolin, violin, hammer, dulcimer, and guitar and pin whistle, and trash cans, everything, has performed <laughs> solo and in ensembles across the U.S. and Europe. Rob works full-time as a violin repair person and builds instruments in his home studio in his spare time. Row, vocals, banjo, ukulele, and bass, I'm feeling so inefficient right now. <laughs> this is so <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Brings her beautiful voice and smile to the family band and rounds out the trio's instrumentation. For the Caswells, music is an integral part of her hearth and home, a source of comfort and joy in daily life. We look, they look forward to sharing and spending time with you tonight. I'd like to introduce you to the Caswell family. You guys take it. Okay. I'm off mute, so I'm clapping for everybody. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, yeah. not, yet, not yet, Rob, I, I lied. I would like to introduce you to Maria Wong, who will tell us a little bit about tonight and how it will be seen more than in just this space. Well, hi, everybody. Um, I'm Maria. I'm coming from Common Ground on the Hill, and we are recording tonight's performance for the Maryland State Arts Council's Folk Life Network. So uh, please make sure you keep yourself <laughs> muted unless there's a person you and uh, enjoy the show. And also, um, if you have questions, we highly encourage you to ask questions. This is an interactive evening. Please put your questions in the chat and I will ask them for you. All right, thank you. Caswell family. All right, thank you, Leah. Thanks, Maria. Can everybody hear us? Audio is good? All right, great. Well, we'll introduce the band in a little bit here, but let's go ahead and get a, the music started. We're going to start with Hannah's big mm -hmm. hit. Hannah has a big hit, and when you have a big hit, you should lead off with your big hit, right, Hannah? <laughs> What's my big hit? <laughs> We're going to start with Free a Little Bird, uh, which we learned from uh, the playing and singing of Bruce Molsky, who I'm sure many of you know and like just as much as we do. So uh, here it goes. <laughs> Yeah. 
to be here with everybody and we're so happy that Leah and our new friends at Govins Presbyterian have invited us to be part of this series and uh, we very much look forward to sharing some music with you this evening and hopefully making some new friends. I know there's lots of old friends and family on the on the call as well so uh, hello to everybody. I don't have a view of all the participants on my screen right now but uh, I think Walt Michael came on board a little. There's long. a lot of people out here. Um, Sue, who's a very proud grandma, <laughs> and someone's a very proud cousin. Yeah, you've got, got your family in the house, honey. We've got the cousins and the grandmas in the house. <laughs> um, so hey to all the family, and I want to say hey to Walt Michael, who's old old friend of mine and sort of my musical mentor. It's really nice of him to be with us here this evening and be doing a couple of songs that I learned from him. And um, I'm not sure if Kirk Evans has joined in yet, but Kirk is my also kind of my trainer and mentor at work on uh, violin repair, where we work together at Music and Arts. And he may be joining the call at some point and also a big musical inspiration to me because Kirk is not only a great teacher and a great repair person, person, but also a great fiddler as well. Um, so hey to Kirk if you're out there. And uh, yeah, we'll hopefully have plenty of time for questions and saying hello and that kind of thing in between some of the songs here. Uh, here's a, another sort of bluegrassy thing and a real standardy thing sitting on top of the world.
Your sound went off, guys. Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world. Yeah, now she's gone. I don't worry. Lord, I'm sitting on top of the world. Bravo, bravo. We already have some questions for you guys. Cool. So Hannah, lots of questions for you. <laughs> so what is your favorite song? Oh, that's a hard one. <laughs> um, I really like Irish tunes, but singing, uh, I like early. Completely up to you. New River Train. Mm -hmm. Okay. I also want to know if you are willing to play one of your favorite songs. This woman is the best. Was that Aunt Maria's voice? I think I heard it. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Maria, I think you're here. Hey, sweetheart. Okay. Um, also, Hannah, what is your favorite and least favorite thing about practicing? You must practice an awful lot. That's a question from the chat. My favorite thing about practicing is the outcome, which is good playing. But my least favorite is that it takes up time. <laughs> That's an honest answer. <laughs> That's right. It does. And mom and dad, when did you know that Hannah had such a great talent? That's from Annie. Um. Well, I don't know. That's a that's a pretty good question. I think I think more so than a moment, it's just been a lot of, you know, a lot of dedication and hard work. Um, Hannah has the advantage of having started her study of the violin at a very young age. Four. Not as young as some, but four. She got a pretty good she got a pretty good start in there. Um, and uh, yeah, she's just stuck to it, you know. There are definitely days when practice is tough and that kind of thing. But, you know, we kind of we set out to sort of go down the fiddle road together, um, and it's teaching us all kinds of things, you know, musically speaking, but also about just stick to itiveness and and the kinds of things you can attain with some hard work put into it and that kind of thing. So, yeah, Maria wants us to know that. Hannah has already won competitions like the Deer Creek Fiddlers Convention. So all everyone on this Zoom call tonight, you're witnessing greatness right now, okay? Look for Hannah. 
Yep. Yeah. So she took the blue one. ribbon in the young performer category. There With three little season. birds. Yeah. Oh, yes. Well, maybe we may have to hear that later. I'm not sure, Rob. Yeah. All right, let's get back to the music. Sounds good. Yeah. And she's doing all this, by the way. She reminded me today that she's doing all of this at a point in her life when she still has more baby teeth in her mouth. Than <laughs> <healthy>. <laughs> and she reminded you that. That's pretty cool. I mean, how many people are as lucky as I am get to play in a band with someone who still has more baby teeth? Than <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, why don't you play an Irish tune? Okay. Yeah. How about um, Here to Listen Here's an Irish jig called The Road to Listen Barna. Another question from Annie. Who's your favorite fiddler? from you know our friends at common ground on the hill and kind of in the area and that sort of thing and they probably have had as much influence as anybody on hannah's fiddle playing mm -hmm. so you know her her lessons are in the classical vein um and so we've been down to the kennedy center um for her birthday uh, for the last couple of years and seen some really impressive violin soloists there at the Who Kennedy the Center. Guy? I forget his name, but he, I think Gil he might have saw, Yeah, we saw Gil Shaham the first time we did that. And wow. Kiko Suwanai more recently, and both of them sort of knocked Hannah's socks off, as well as <laughs> the rest of the family socks. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's get um, in, on, in, on, in on this a little bit more. What do you think, Hannah? Rob, your dad's also here with us. Did you hear me? I'm sorry. I said your dad's also here with us. Hey, Dad. Yeah. Hi, <laughs> I know he's a great folk singer. was clear and the stars were shining soon come up so quiet in the sky all the people gathered round and the band was tuning I can hear them now they're coming through the ride Start that over one more time. You want to know why? <laughs> We're going to start that over. On the We're going to start that over one more time. I was thinking about that. Because <laughs> mommy actually plays banjo on this. 
<laughs> there we go. The banjo features sort of prominently in this song, so we figured the banjo would be good to play. <laughs> All right. Oh, the night was clear and the stars were shining and the moon come up to quiet in the sky all the people gathered round <laughs> mom are you going to start us over on this again yes <laughs> I'm gonna do it on the guitar. All right, I'll do it on the banjo. All right, banjo. <laughs> and he's just the banjo. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> Instrumentation while you enjoy the show. Let's try it one more time. Oh, the night was clear and the stars were shining. The moon come up. So quiet in the sky, all the people gathered round, and the band was tuning. I can hear them now, playing coming through the ride. You were dressed in blue, and you looked so lovely, a gentle flower, a small town girl. My hand, and we stepped to the music in a single smile. It became my world, and we danced all night to the fiddle and the banjo that are drifting to me. the fairy.
Thank you, folks. We finally got that together. Hey, I like it. <laughs> it's still live. That's what's, that's a charm. It's the charm of it all, Rob. <laughs> yep. So I highly encourage everyone to read the chat. Um, folks are throwing in some wonderful trivia about Rob and this beautiful family. You've run a few awards yourself, my dear, some competitions. So um, I'm glad to hear that the trivia is about awards won. <laughs> <laughs> could go in all kinds of directions, Leah. <laughs> oh, you know I know. You know I know. So, Rob, um, Tim, Tim Scully, our friend Tim Scully, wants to know, what is your favorite instrument now? You play about 2052. So, tell, what's your favorite? Well, um, I'm sort of like Hannah. You know, it's hard to pick a favorite among all this stuff that we love so much. But... Um, what I play the most these days is the fiddle. Hannah and I are are working on that together, and uh, I I sort of committed myself to it as an instrument. I realized um, that it's always been my favorite instrument um, as far as the sound of of the instruments that I love best go. And um, I didn't start at a young age, and for a long time I sort of wrote myself off as a potential fiddle player, um, you know, just kind of telling myself all the usual negative stuff that we sometimes get in the habit of telling ourselves. I was saying, oh, I didn't start young enough, and it's so hard, and there's no frets to help me out. I'll never get decent intonation before I die. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> that kind of stuff. Um, but it's actually been a really wonderful thing in my life to just kind of let go of all of that. And when Amen. Hannah started, yeah, when Hannah started taking lessons, um, the proximity to it all was just too much for me. And I was like, okay, I gotta, I gotta give this another whirl. <laughs> um, so, uh, yeah, it's never too late, you know, and I probably won't ever be a fantastic concert violinist or even a really top drawer fiddle player. But what this whole thing has shown me is that, um, I just really enjoy the process and, uh, the rewards are, are, immediate in that sense you know i get to pick it up every day and play some music with my daughter which is especially oh, special yes. and it happens to be on an instrument that i really really love so um that's such a wonderful message rob such an we are never too old i'm gonna go out and get a fiddle tonight <laughs> well i'm on my way i'm on my way to westminster okay <laughs> every instrument that mom and i play daddy can play that's so impressive. So impressive. You have such an incredible family. Rob, Claudia wants you to know that Pete is playing along on his fretless banjo, fretless, to oh, every song that you're playing. Right okay. on. Right on. That is, there's an old banjo buddy of mine. That's yeah, really cool, Pete. Please don't stop. Or keep right on playing along. I love it. All right. More music. What should we do next, band? Um, let's do... Um, Let's do uh, this one. I wanted to get this song out there tonight, make sure we get it out there while we still have time. We're about halfway through our set now. Um, and uh, this is called Don't You Hear My Savior Calling. And I learned this song from the playing of Mississippi John Hurt. Yeah. And, um, I love Mississippi John Hurt. He couldn't do anything. <laughs> he couldn't do anything that didn't please me. But this song, when I heard it for the first time, I thought, wow, that's a really great, that's a gem. Okay. I knew I liked you, Rob. I knew it. <laughs> yeah, there you go. I love him too. <laughs> um, so, and um, I don't know if he's been able to make the call tonight or not. I know he was going to make an effort, but he had some stuff going on. My best friend, whose name is um, Ben Herman, a uh, guy who we were born, you know, I think within about six or nine months of each other or something like that, and uh, grew up together. And then we, our paths kind of took us other places for later in our youth, you know, like high school and college. We didn't really see a whole lot of each other. But then there was a moment when we ran into each other um, back in our old stomping grounds. And it was like the friendship had never skipped a beat. You know, nothing had changed. We were still just the same old pals as ever. Uh, so Ben, Ben may be on the call or maybe not. But in any case, as it turns out, he and I both lost a grandmother. I lost my mom's mom um, 
in late September and he's on the call, Rob. Hey, okay, awesome. Hey, Ben. Okay. Um, <laughs> Thank you, Sue. And Ben's dad's mom just passed away recently. Um, so we're thinking about him and the whole Herman Lachecki clan, and uh, we'll do this one for all of us who may have had somebody pass on. Don't you hear? Savior calling, who will come work today? Fields are ripe, harvest waiting. Who will bear this yield away? Here am I. accolades happening in the chat cool. you are loved you're loved you're loved all right let's keep going all right uh well let's pick it up again here hannah how about um here's one that's probably very familiar to a lot of folks I mean, good one for the younger members of the audience and the young in heart as well what is it? <laughs> You'll find out in a moment. <laughs> frog went frog. I joined keys, didn't I? Frog, frog went a and he did. 
mentioning nonetheless we're sending that one out to uncle sparky uncle Sparky. oh yeah <laughs> so that was great hannah you have a you also have a future on screen you know you're such a little actress that's what someone said here um so everyone we did not get the information rob about your tip jar but if you would kindly provide us maybe your paypal venmo or that in the chat before okay. Leave, or just text it to me and I'll provide it. Maybe when Anna's singing or something like that. And we'll make sure. Uh, we want to support all of our artists. This is a very difficult time for artists, my brothers and sisters. Um, it's not a very, as artists, the art world has been hit very hard by our current predicament. So, time to sing some more. You got it. Uh, why don't we do. Can I choose one? Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. Did you have one in mind already? There's the list. Excuse me. Speaking of Kanali, have you done early? No. Nope. Not like even early. All right. It's your favorite. Even though it's late right now. <laughs> <laughs> How about that? That Don't was a pretty good that. joke, there. Yeah. Okay. 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 I'll quit. <laughs> I think mom and dad's lives are going to get easier and easier here. We're not going to have to front the band at all. We'll just let Hannah do the banter. <laughs> let Hannah play the fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, as I said, there's, I think I, we sang Roseville Fair there. I think I may have learned that from, from Walt Michael. 
And I know for sure I learned this Greg Brown song from Walt Michael called Early, which we'll do for you now, in spite of it being sort of late, as Hannah points out. <laughs> plays the fiddle real pretty on this one. Yes, beautiful. Right. You should see your crowd is going crazy here on Zoom. Absolutely gorgeous. That's so many of one of uh, so many people on Zoom right now. They love this song. That's one of my favorite songs. And um, you just did it so beautifully, okay. so beautifully. Not gonna take your time, sweetheart. Do some more. All right, can do. Okay. How about some of that new river train, Anna? Hannah, I would like to report, was 
the only fourth grader in her math class who got a perfect score on the first math test of the year this year. And I had to unmute for that. Woo! <laughs> Go, Hannah, who wants to be a robotics engineer. <laughs> yes, in addition to the top notch fiddle player. down just a little bit. <laughs> yeah. 
the same thing. One thing that I meant to emphasize throughout this presentation, and I've all forgotten to do so almost completely, is um, we did try to choose some songs that would be nice to sing along to, and uh, I'm sure that many of you, most of you, some of you are are doing so without any invitation required. <laughs> but uh, please, please join along singing. Um, as Leah said at the outset, unfortunately, we have to mute because of the latency that occurs when there's too much going on at the same time. But um, we do hope you'll sing along in your living rooms. Mm -hmm. This is a big part of what music is all about for the three of us, is just a chance to get together with people and sing or play instruments. But uh, the singing is kind of, kind of central and kind of key to what it is that we love most about music. So we do hope that we've <clears throat> provided you with the opportunity to do some singing this evening if, if, uh, if that's something that you enjoy doing too. How about Greenback Dollar? Can you play some, play some bass on the song maybe? The bass that, that uh, Rhode is playing is actually a cello. Oh, we use um, it as a bass. Yeah, we use it as a bass. We find it fills the living room space just fine. And uh, acoustically speaking, and it doesn't fill as much space in the living room, physically speaking, as, <laughs> as a full-size upright bass would. So uh, it's a nice choice for, for our little jams. This is called Greenback Dollar. And if you don't know it already, um, it's got a really nice, and very singable chorus that goes a little like this. I don't want your greenback dollar. I don't want your watch and chain. That's watch and chain as in pocket watch and the chain that connects it. All I want is your heart, darling. Say you'll take me back again. I don't want your greenback dollar. I don't want your watch and chain. All I want is your heart, darling. Say you'll take me back again. <laughs> Let's try it. This is my right? Yeah. yeah. Once I loved a fair young maiden, and she thought. And ain't another love persuaded. Now she cares no more for me. Let's sing it. I don't.
on many a night Rolled together Down beside the deep blue sea In your heart you love another In my grave Incredibly amazing. Rob, Roe, and Hannah joined us tonight. We thank you so, so very much. We thank Maria Wong for um, recording and being a part and being a co host, helping a sister out. Um, I'd like to give shouts out to my sister Pam Zaffredino and Suzanne Nita and Walt. I'm so glad that all of you are here. Tim and Karen, just very glad you're here. Annie. Um, Annie, this is part of your world. Annie's a wonderful bluegrass singer. And, uh, and Annie and myself, Maria, you can see us at Govins Presbyterian Church. Govins Presbyterian Church is the sponsor for Music Mondays. And we are not just a church. We are a welcoming center. We are Christ-centered, but be a welcoming of everyone, whatever your faith tradition is, whatever your belief system. It is a beautiful place, and we welcome you 10 a.m. On, on Sunday mornings. You can join us on Zoom, and we have a good time on Zoom. So I'm going to introduce you to the man of Govins, Pastor Tom Harris. Yay! Woo, Tom! Thanks, Leah. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, and everybody, uh, uh, Ro, Rob, Hannah, thank you so much for being here and for sharing your gifts and talent with us tonight. Thank you, Leah, for the amazing Music Monday programming that she's put together, turning in, into this wonderful dis, uh, display of uh, and celebration of music in so many different genres. Um, and yeah, if anybody would like to check out Govins, please do. We are a welcome, welcoming, open-minded, open-hearted church. Uh, as Leah says, we're Christian, but we don't think we got, we've got it all figured out and don't, we aren't the only way. There's a lot of bad stuff happening in the world in the name of Christianity these days, and you've got two choices. You can, you can write it off and say, I don't want to be a part of that stuff because it's evil, or you can try to say, hey, we're going to make something good out of this, and that's what we're trying to do at Govins. Uh, so I hope you'll join us anytime. You can also, if you just want a, um, a taste, you can go to our Facebook page. So Govins Presbyterian Church on Facebook. Uh, like us, follow us. We have our live worship Zoom services through uh, the Facebook page as well. Uh, you want me to close us with prayer, Leah? Is that my next step? My next thing? Yeah, why don't you do that? Okay. <laughs> and All again, right. thank you, everyone. Next week is the Taze community, which is absolutely fascinating music community by our very new, we'd be led by our very new um, pastor, the what how, what kind of pastor do we call him, Tom? Associate. Yeah, that's it. A very new <laughs> associate pastor. And Tom is the senior pastor, all right? That has nothing to do with age, Tom. Nothing. No, no. <laughs> or, or gray hair in your beard or anything like that. No. Nothing at all. But <laughs> we, we have a great time every Music Monday. We really would like you to join us. Let me, Rob, Ro, Hannah, thank you so much. I am blessed to know the coolest people in the universe. Walt Michael, 
thank you so much for helping arrange this evening tonight. You know I love you. You're my honey. Um, that's okay, Suzanne. We can share him. He's my honey too, okay? <laughs> All right, Rob, do you want to have any last words before um, Tom prays? I would just like to say thank you to you, Leah, and everybody at the church, and Maria and Walt, of course. And um, we really were honored to uh, have this opportunity, and we hope everyone had a very enjoyable evening. And uh, we'll probably be tuning in to some more music music mondays ourselves yeah we want to check it out fantastic you were unbelievable hannah i'll see you at the grammys the oscars the um ultimate science awards you know the mathematical genius awards we'll see you all there We're, we'll be your cheering section ro thank you so much young lady i'm so pleased to finally meet you and um tom all right everybody let's pray Holy One, uh, we give thanks. We express our gratitude together tonight. We're, no matter what we believe, where we're coming from, we all give thanks for the goodness of this life. We give thanks for Ro, Rob, and Hannah for the gift of music that they've brought to us tonight. We give thanks for Leah, and we give thanks for everyone here for the opportunity to connect during these difficult times, to connect through this online forum, to celebrate music together, to rejoice, to let the music feed that deepest part of our souls. We ask your blessings on all those who are suffering in this world, suffering uh, because of negative impacts of coronavirus, suffering because of injustice and discrimination in this world. We ask that you will remind us that you are there with them, those who are in need, those who are suffering, and take us out of our comfort zones to go there too. We ask that you will inspire us to do the hard work that needs to be done to make this world uh, a better place, to make it more as you intend it to be, a place of equality and justice and love and kindness for all people. Guide us to do this work and go from here in your holy name. Amen.